Welcome back to my channel everyone. So it's absolutely boiling today. It's like 50 degrees outside. Um, if you're down south, I don't know about people up north. It's probably minus five or six. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, perfect day for it. Basically today I'm fitting a side awning on my Volkswagen Transporter T5. Now, most of you already know what my van is if you're subscribed to my channel. If you're new to my channel, um, I've got a self-build T5 swamper type thing, I like to call it. Um, anyway, the reason why I want an awning is so I have a bit of protection for my bald head um, <laughs> when I'm out in the hot weather. Um, but on a serious note, I think the awnings look really good and it gives you more space when you're outside. The awning I've gone for is a bit special as well. It's pretty cool. Um, it's an ARB one who basically, they are a like Australian roof bars, they're called. That's what the ARB stands for. But they're like a four by four sort of specialist. They make all different bits for four by fours, um, all accessories and stuff like that. Now, the company who I got my awning from was Douglas Motors. Um, they're a UK based company. Um, if you like what you see with this awning, I'm sure you will, uh, go onto their website, put in the awning that you're after or anything that you're after on the website and use the promo code DARREN10. That will give you 10% off any of the items on there. Um, they've kindly given that to everyone who watches this video basically. Um, so yeah, save yourself a bit of money. Go on there, find yourself an awning, 10% off, use that promo code. Um, now, the reason why I've gone for this one, obviously it's got a light on it, so at night time, it's got like two different light settings. You've got like a um, bright white light and you've got like an orange light. I think it's basically to keep the bugs away. Um, I use my van all year round, so I wanna be able to cook outside of the van, um, whether it's hot or cold or windy or rainy. Um, I'm not sure how good awnings are in the wind. I'll be yet to find out, but yeah, keep watching. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you um, the whole process that I'm using to get this on the side of the van. Now, I don't have anything on the roof at the minute. I don't even have a pop top. I don't even think I've got an aerial one there um, last time I checked. <laughs> so I've gone and bought myself some Fiamma F45S brackets the ones that curve over the side of the van. So I'm gonna be fitting them. Firstly, I'm gonna dry fit them. So what that means is I'm gonna not bond them to the van. I'm just gonna put masking tape down, line them up, get my mate round to help me lift the awning up, mark on where I wanna drill the holes, take the brackets back off, drill the brackets, refit them, bond them, let them set, then put the awning up and yeah, all good. Uh, sounds like a big process, but keep watching because you'll see exactly how it's done. Um, apart from that, uh, I don't know what else to say. I think in this video, what I'm gonna do um, is really just show you the installation process. I'm not gonna do a full review on the awning today. I wanna do that in a separate video because this video is mainly aimed at the guys with the T5s or the T6s or the transporters who wanna know how these are fitted to their van. So it just gives you some sort of idea. Um, this is my personal, you know, choice or way of doing it. Um, I've looked at other brackets. I don't have roof bars. Some people have roof bars or roof racks <clears throat> and they can fit them to that. I don't have any of that. So this is the choice I've gone for and the setup I've gone for. So um, yeah, if you wish to use the same parts as me, feel free to. Um, I'll leave all the links in the description. But like I say, massive thanks to Douglas Motors because They've given me this all in um, for a discounted price and also all of my subscribers um, for a discounted price. So yeah, big thumbs up to them and let's crack on. I'm just unboxing the awning. Right? So just be very careful when you're opening it. Um, anyway, let's start to get it unwrapped. Instructions, I think they're the pegs for it. And then one giant, awning there we go love the color of it as well my first reaction to that is the color this looks amazing that gray so what's really handy is um this little canvas bag it's got all the pegs and also the tie down rope as well and all the fixings so you've got six fixings what i'm going to do is do three either end 
the way that this fixes on, let me turn it around, um, is you've basically got little square bolts, they just slide in to where you need them to be, and obviously you just tighten them up the other end. This bag's really handy though, because it keeps it nice and neat out of the way. I love a bag with things like, literally any time I buy something, whether it be like a hookup cable, or bedding or whatever, I always have to have a separate bag for it. Um, bit of OCD that is. Another thing that turned up in the box was a load of sweets from Douglas Motors, which is really nice of them. Thank you for that. I've already eaten quite a few. Um, <laughs> as you can see, there's probably not many left from what there was when I got sent the box, but yeah, love these refreshers and the drumsticks without a stick. Now, the other thing I've got with this is the LED light kit. Um, so in there is a bag, I think it's got like a remote and the power supply for this. I'm going to go into this in more depth later on. Firstly though, what I'm going to do is get the awning um, installed on the van and just show you exactly how I'm going to fit it to my T5. Um, I've got a nip down to tool station to go and get some PU bonding. Now I've just picked up some of this Pureflex 40 high modulus PU sealant and I've also got some masking tape because what I don't want to do is when I first dry fit the brackets I don't want it to scratch the van so a little tip here put some masking tape on the side of the van um, if you're going to do that if you're wondering why I've got a bulkhead behind me I'm not actually in my Volkswagen I'm in the work truck which is a Vauxhall Vivaro um, yeah so just for those of you that are probably thinking, oh, where, where's the nice seats gone? Well, these are all right, but they're, you know. Um, anyway, I'm gonna crack on. I'm just gonna nip in the garage and go and get a sealant gun and also some spanners for the brackets. I've never got a shortage of these, I'll tell you that. Like, these silicon guns, every time I go to screw fix a tool station, I end up buying one. And I've probably got about three more in the van, so, oh, I don't know. Um, they always come in handy though, I suppose, days like today. Um, if you're wondering why I'm shaking, I've had two really strong coffees and I've taken my blue inhaler because this hot weather is really doing me in right now. Um, so yeah, don't worry, I ain't got the uh, alcoholic shakes. And then just a nice set of spanners, all good. So first thing I'm going to do is clean the roof. Um, well, I'm going to stick it down, I'm just using a wet rag, microfiber cloth so there's no dust or dirt around. Um, I'm going to put one bracket right at the front here and I'm going to put another bracket right at the back there. Now I'm just going to get the masking tape and stick some of that just across here so obviously uh, the brackets don't scratch the top of the roof whilst I dry test it. So these are the two brackets. Um, I've got a front bracket here, I've got an empty pack of Haribo, which <laughs> I was actually sent in that box as well. Everyone keeps sending me sweets, go away, I've eaten them. Um, and then you've got the back, the rear bracket, should I say, for the back of the van, and then obviously the fitting kit and instructions. Um, because of obviously these brackets going on to the, the metal work of the van, um, that's why I've used the masking tape, you'll see here. So obviously, when this bolts on, that's gonna be on there. Um, this is just until, obviously, I get the awning lined up and drilled, and then I can obviously bond it back down. So, yeah. Basically, what we're saying, awning to be fixing the brackets. Um, obviously, I'm not fitting a Fiamma awning, um, and I'm fitting a ARB awning, so that bit's a bit like, really irrelevant for me. Um, I think the first thing I'm going to do on the roof is take the bolts out as well. So I'm just going to use an Allen key to unbolt that. One bolt, and then obviously you've got the thread in there, just be careful of the, the thread, I'm sure that moves in there. So we'll make sure I've got everything in there. One of these brackets like that. That apparently goes through there. A washer and a nut either side. 
another one. The bolt that fixes to the van is the Allen key one with the cut in the middle with the thread on the washer. I should have really put that on first, but basically it just slides through the, the big hole there and then through there like that. Lower this down into the hole. Right, so that is now bolted onto the roof of the van. Um, it's got to tighten these, but obviously, like I said earlier, I'm just going to dry fit these for the minute. So I'm going to use a 10mm socket just to tighten these up on each side. A little tip here, if you hold the bracket in the air and lift it up while tightening it, it goes down a lot easier and quicker. I'm going to do exactly the same as what I've done at the front on the back now. A quick tip for everyone, don't throw these away because what's going to happen is one day you're going to want to take your awning off and you're not going to have these. So what I normally do with stuff like this is leave it with the um, anti-theft wheel locker key in the glove box. <laughs> How secure. So basically what I've done, I've dry fitted the brackets just so I can line the uh, the awning up to it before I drill any holes because I want to take these back down. You can imagine, you bond it, then you try drilling the holes, then it don't line up. You're going to have so many issues. So I think do it this way, take my time. Up for that. <laughs> Come on, son. Here you go, I'm carrying the heaviest bit. Oh, what way round you got It don't matter for the minute. If we just go and drop it down there, oh, if we lay it. Nice and neat down here, son. Yeah. Pull that bit out underneath. Lovely. Right, that would be better there. And I think. You've just got to keep that straight. I don't think the doors should should touch that. Right. Easy, is it? Right. Okay. Let's put it back on the roof, Benny. Uh, I'm going to go for the two higher marks. So we've offered the awning up to the brackets. What I've done is measured the channels between here and here and then marked on the bracket exactly I want to drill the holes for the bolts to secure it on. I'm going to pilot hole these out and then I'm going to use a 7mm drill bit to open them up so the bolts will just go through. One, two, I'm not worried about the mess in my van. I know some of you lot like to keep them clean. <laughs> not me. Right, that's all lined up. Right, so this is the front bracket. The first line I'm going to do is 40 millimetres because I want the centre of the, uh, the grooves on the awning to start here and then the other bolt from there will be I think it was 48 mil onwards so it should be 88 millimeters and then I'm gonna drill these 20 mil in so this would be my first hole and then second we're putting two on the bottom and one on the top reason why is because the weight of the awning will be more so at the bottom there you go it's a bit of a fat cross that one but i'm pretty sure <laughs> that will be fine and then i've got one more to do which 20 mil so i'm going to do 88 again for this side I don't know if it's gone off press the screen now she's still recording and then we said 20 mil this side you got the cameraman, GVD, tag in the description. There you go. So that's going to be the same as that, basically, just a mirrored version. Yeah, right. That's. Oh, actually, something don't look right there. It's this one. That don't need to be 20 mil, the top one. That's why I got it wrong. It needs to be further in. And I think. That was 80 mil centre. So excuse that one. 
got carried away. That's why I always double check things. 80 mil, and just make sure that's going to be 40 down. So. Perfect. So one, two, three. Mirror of that. It's just off centre of that factory bolt there. Always wear gloves when you're doing this. Still toe caps and all. <laughs> Still toe caps <laughs> and a mask and eyewear. Don't copy me, right? Do. Just gonna pop this open. I'm gonna cut the nozzle just a little bit. Just don't really want it too too thick, but just enough to to cover it. And then I'm gonna grab my gun, <laughs> silicone gun that is. Now in the manual they recommend that you put bonding along the grooves. I don't, like I say, I don't really want to cake it on, so I'm just going to go gently. I don't want it too much on the edge because you'll probably see that when, when it goes on. See, this stuff is always messy. I've never liked it, as you probably hear me say in my other videos. Right. Not so fussed about it on the edges so much. Make sure you've always got a rag to hand, um, just in case. <clears throat> right, so that's all on. I'm gonna go and put that on the roof now. Take your time. It seems to have found its place already, but I'm gonna get my socket and tighten that up. Push that, make sure it's all aligned. You sort of put your hand on the bracket just feel it with the groove of the van. It makes it a lot easier. It seems to be alright. The thing is, I can't see any bonding, um, which is what I wanted. I didn't want to see any bonding squeezing out of the side. I've seen that done on a few installs. Not for me. So the rear bracket's all ready. Um, I'm just going to put the C, yeah, not the kick on it, seek flex, the bonding on the other bracket bring it up here as you can see on this one you've got two washers either side Fiamma says it needs that obviously it's probably where the back of the van slopes it needs to bring the bracket up so just make sure you've got those ready as well if you're doing this bit more bonding now on this bit let's have a look nice and gently try and line these up before it's gonna be a pig in it. It's gotta leave us to dry now, it's gonna take the pencil marks off. Little tip for you, put a screw in the end of your nozzle um, to keep your sealant fresh for next time. So when you want to use it again, just pop that screw out and you're good. Stops it from going off. For anyone concerned for more fans' welfare, let's get the metal scrapings off. I might be driving some people mad. Keep it off your bodywork because it will rust, apparently. That's what they say. All good. Spotless. These just slide through. We should, so we need we need three. I think is this the top end, yeah. So we want one at the top and then two at the bottom. So that'll be your three. We've got to line them up with the rear bracket, and then we we'll do the same on the other side. <laughs> He's a mobile mechanic. He's going to get another ten mil spanner. He's trying to get home quick. The chap. This off. Boys. In there. Tricky to, to get in. Oh, 
That's satisfying. Bolted on. The only thing we had to do was just trim a little bit of the bracket out the top so we could get the um, socket in there because obviously when I drilled them holes I thought I would be able to get a spanner in there but couldn't get one in so yeah just had to cut a little bit of that out either end uh, no problems though it's all gone on fine so this is the awning um, it's now all on the side of the van as you can see I love this grey it just matches my van really well to take a step back show you there we go so what I'm going to do now I'm going to take um, the awning out of its bag and put it right out show you its set up and then show you exactly what it looks like now the other thing I was going to say the awning I fitted it as close as I could to the doors obviously if you're going to do this you don't have to put it as low down as me the reason why I wanted to do that was so when the bag uh, obviously opens up it's going to give me some sort of rain protection I'll show you that bit in a minute um, and also I'll quickly do a door test just to make sure it's not going to get caught there we go I can always um, obviously tighten the bag or the straps inside if it did but there we go it's not touching so it's alright so I'm going to unzip it just give it up and I'm going to fold the bag over and this is the bit I was telling you about if I tuck that up there now um, it's tucked up like that right you can all laugh at me right first thing I'm going to do is take the straps away just not far Basically, I just get the one of the legs down. Put another one out. So that's the legs in. To adjust it, you just twist it. So that is the awning up. I think it looks absolutely amazing. I mean, the head height, it can still go a lot higher. These um, pegs literally are adjustable, so you just twist them push up higher and then we see everything's tucked up behind here as well so nothing's going to get in the way of the doors I think I was pushing the limit a bit for how close I installed it but that's like how I am with things always trying to get it to the extremes um, and yeah look like I said earlier basically you can't get any rainwater or anything through there but overall that is class it's over the moon with it so I've shown you all the process that I've taken in order to get this on the side of the van. Um, it was a bit fiddly with the brackets, but you know, that's how I am. Like, I like to take my time with things, make sure it's going to be right 100%. <laughs> Some guys just fell off his bike. <laughs> I should laugh. <laughs> um, I, think, I think he's right. I'm not going to film him. I, I can't do, do that. <laughs> Oh, I'm cracking up now. Um, so, oh, sh are you okay? <laughs> it looks, yeah. yeah, God, it's a bit gravelly over there. Yeah, no, just, uh, just went. <laughs> oh, yeah, nightmare. Um, so, I've shown you all the process of how I've put this on the van. Um, yeah, I take my time with things. So I'm going to start myself again. Of course, my. Uh, my full process now um oh yeah so it's all on showing you that bit bit fiddly uh the awning <laughs> is completely out now like i'm over the moon i can't stop laughing <laughs> i'm such a child i swear um so the, the awning's obviously all up what i'm gonna do because this video is gonna be pretty long um most of you probably have exited by now because it's taken so much time so i'm gonna do another video about the awning like i'm gonna do a full review talk to you about the canvas and um, I'm gonna fit the light up here I'm uh, gonna get that in because obviously I haven't done that in this video I'm gonna keep that separate and then also show you how it comes out and goes back um, I didn't watch any videos on how to do that so as you can see I did struggle quite a lot um, pulling it out um, but it's my first time so you can't expect me to be a pro at it plus I'm on my own doing all this stuff 
Uh, a massive thank you to Douglas Motors. I'm going to put a link in the description to their website. Um, a little bit more about them as well. Obviously, they are like a four x four specialist. They've got so much stuff like accessories and they even sell Land Rovers and things like that. So yeah, just take a good look on their website and just check them out. Use the promo code Darren10 for 10% off their products. Because obviously, if you want to get the same warning as me, you can do for, with a 10% discount. Um, don't think you can beat that price anywhere. I've looked online and the time you've taken 10% off one of these, um, that is gonna be a lot cheaper than anywhere else. Um, the Fiama brackets, I will put a link to them where I got them, I've got them on eBay, uh, really good. But the last thing I was gonna say, which I didn't really talk too much about in the beginning of this video, because I get a bit carried away with um, talking, is and not really thinking so much, but the main reason why I went for an ARB awning was because obviously they are like an Australian like outback company. I don't know if they're in the outbacks, but what I mean is they specialise in all four x four stuff for the outbacks. So obviously these are designed to be used in a complete really tough weather conditions. Plus they're all just all their bits are designed for four x fours, and you know what most of the four x four guys are like. They just absolutely <laughs> put their motors through, you know, the, the thick of it. So I wanted something robust, good quality, um, and also like relatively cheap. Now these, they're like, I would say more than half the price of something like a Fiamma awning. Um, plus um, it really does go with the look I'm trying to achieve with my van, the whole like four by four thing. Obviously my van is a four motion, so got big wheels on it and stuff like that so I want to try and keep it that way um, yeah uh, so that's gonna be it now I'm gonna cut this video short I'm not gonna show you me putting this away um, purely because I'm gonna chill out now and enjoy the lovely outdoors if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up let me know what you think uh, let me know what one in you guys have got if you've got one or if you're thinking of getting one um, yeah definitely give one of these a go highly recommend it and um, see you all again soon cheers